Hi everyone, this is Zhe Liu from Shanghai Tech University. Our laboratory is PSPL, which is Power System Protection and Automation Laboratory. My paper title is Physical Domain Signal in the Transmission Line Fault Location Method Based on Harmonics Without Remote Set Information. Within modern power systems, it is of great importance to determine the fault location of the transmission line quickly and accurately. To minimize the time spent searching for the fault and therefore the power outage time and operational costs. Nowadays, there are primarily four types of the fault location methods, including traveling wave based methods, artificial intelligence based methods, time domain model based methods, and physical domain model based methods. Physical domain model based methods are the most widely adopted methods in practical power systems due to their clear physical meaning high robustness and simplicity. In some studio steady state assumptions, the methods usually extract phasors at the fundamental frequency, formulate phasor domain line model, and so for fault location. These methods can be further categorized into single-ended and dual-ended methods according to the availability of measurements at the remote end of the line. These existing single-ended methods, like the simple inductance methods and the fault location methods, without using source impedance, are based on additional assumptions, resulting in higher fault location errors. So the fault location accuracy of single-ended methods still need to be improved. Red figure shows an example three-phase transmission line with fault. The transmission line is modeled using simplified impedance. Single-ended phase domain fault location of three-phase transmission line adopts voltage and current measurements at local terminals only. According to IEEE C37.114 standard, with the fundamental frequency phasor representations, the apparent impedance can be expressed as a function of DG1, DH1, C1, F, and the current measurements before and during the fault. Specifically, the expressions are slightly different with different types of faults. This is the formula of BC type faults. In this formula, there are four unknowns and two equations. The four unknowns are M, RF, ZG1, and ZH1. To solve this problem, one can only find additional equations. If the unknown remains unchanged, additional two real equations are adequate to obtain fault location results. Fortunately, due to nonlinear loads and high penetration of renewable in the present power system, the system also includes harmonics. For example, the magnitude of the fifth harmonic is usually between 1% to 2% of that of the fundamental frequency. Therefore, this paper utilizes fifth harmonic as an example to augment the number of equations. Note that the principle is similar for other harmonics. With the equations at both fundamental frequency and the fifth harmonics, there are four equations and four unknowns. Equation above is nonlinear and the analytical solution is hard to be obtained. Here, the Newton's interactive method is adopted to solve for a known variable vector, including the fault location m. The variable x is calculated using the following interactive methods until convergence. An example two terminal three phase transmission line is built in PSCART EMPDC. The system is the same as the figure. The background model in PSCAD EMTTC is utilized for simulation. The transmission line is a 500 kV line with the fundamental frequency of 50 Hz and a total length of 100 km. The source impedance are ZG1 is equal to ZG0 is equal to 3 plus J15 at terminal G. And in terminal H, ZH1 is equal to ZG, ZH0 is equal to 6 plus G15. 
24. The source at terminal H leaves the source at the terminal G for 10 degrees. The impedances for the entire line are ZG1 is equal to 2.083 plus G 28.1 and 00 is equal to 11.48 plus G 71.9. All the values are evaluated at the fundamental frequency at 50 Hz. Due to space limitations, only faults with 10 ohm fault resistance are selected as examples. The example fault locations include 10 km to 90 km every 10 km from terminal G within the transmission line. The example fault type are AG, BC, BCG, and the three phase faults. It can be clearly seen from the following four figures that the locationalized arrow of the proposed method is much smaller than the existing single-ended fault location methods on the whole transmission line, regardless of the fault type. Therefore, we believe that the single-ended fault location methods based on the amount of additional information of harmonics proposed in this paper is very successful and efficient. However, there are still some issues that need to be discussed here. First, the proposed method is based on lambda RL circuit model of the transmission line, which is not quite accurate, especially for relatively long transmission lines or during the analysis with high frequencies. The second, the availability and intensity of harmonic components under various operating conditions should be carefully investigated before applying the proposed methods to practical power systems. And the last, applicability of the proposed methods to transmission lines of other voltage levels can also be investigated for future validation. Due to nonlinear loads and increasing integration of renewables, Modern AC power systems operating with small harmonics. In this paper, a new phaser domain single energy transmission line fault location method based on harmonic is proposed. With the fifth harmonics as an example, the expressions of apparent impedance at the location terminal under both fundamental frequency and the fifth harmonics are derived. Afterwards, the fault location problem is formulated with four real equations and four real unknowns to be solved including the fault location. Compared to the existing single-ended method in IEEE C37.114 standard, the method does not need to know the remote site source impedance and does not require fuser assumptions on the fault current or homogeneity of the system. Numerical experiments prove that the proposed single ended fault location method improved the fault location accuracy compared to the existing methods.